Hi students, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss some topics from magnetism. Okay, let us start. Torque on a magnetic dipole in a magnetic field. Consider a magnet NS of length 2L placed in a uniform magnetic field B. Bar magnet NS of length 2L placed in a uniform magnetic field B. QM be the pole strength of each pole. Let the magnetic axis of the bar magnet makes an angle theta with the field B. The magnetic axis of the bar magnet makes an angle theta with the magnetic field. This is the angle theta. Okay. Then the force on the two poles are equal and opposite. They form a couple. Here the force acting on this end that is QEMB. Here that is also QEMB. The force acting on the two poles are equal and opposite. They form a couple. Moment of couple or torque is given by. Moment of couple or torque is given by. Tau is equal to force into perpendicular distance. Okay, we will first step to the first step. That is equal to QM into B into perpendicular distance meter. That is 2L sin theta. That is the perpendicular distance 2L sin theta. So, we can write QM. 2L into B sin theta. Then tau is equal to 2L into QM that we know magnetic pole strength the M into B sin theta. So tau is equal to M cross B. In vector notation, vector tau is equal to vector M cross vector B. Okay. Then the direction of torque tau is given by the right hand screw rule. Okay. So tau is equal to M cross B. When the bar magnet lies along the direction of the magnetic field, theta is equal to 0. Bar magnet lies along the direction of the magnetic field, this theta is equal to 0. So, this bar magnet is now placed like this. Then, when the magnetic field is placed in the along the direction of the magnetic field, we can say that theta is equal to 0. So, sin theta is equal to 0. So, tau is equal to 0. Thus, the torque is minimum. When the magnet lies perpendicular the direction of the magnetic field, so we can say that theta is equal to 90, then sin theta is equal to 1, so we can say that tau is equal to mb, so torque is maximum. Tau max is equal to mb. Then the SA unit of magnetic moment that is equal to Newton meter per Tesla or Joule per Tesla or Ampere meter square. Okay. The next topic that is potential energy of a magnetic dipole in a magnetic field. Potential energy of a magnetic dipole. When a magnetic dipole is placed in a uniform magnetic field B at an angle theta with it, it exp experiences a torque tau is equal to mb sin theta. The torque tends to align the dipole in the direction of B. This torque tends to align the dipole in the direction of B. If the dipole is rotated against the action of this torque, work has to be done. This work is taught as the potential energy of the dipole. Now, first you have to the same thing. If the dipole is rotated against the action of the torque, then work has to be done. This work is taught as the potential energy of the dipole. Then, The work done on turning the dipole through a small angle d theta is d w is equal to tau into d theta. Tau is equal to mb sin theta. So d w is equal to tau d theta is equal to mb sin theta d theta. If the dipole is rotated from an initial position theta is equal to theta 1 to the final position theta is equal to theta 2 then the total work done will be. Then W is equal to integral of dW that is equal to integral of theta 1 to theta 2 dW that is mb sin theta d theta that is equal to mb is a constant we should take outside then we can we will take the uh, integral of sin theta d theta integral of sin theta d theta means that is minus cos theta okay then limit theta 1 to theta 2. Then we should take the minus also outside then minus mb into then we should give upper limit minus lower limit so cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1 instead of this theta you should write the upper limit cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1 okay minus mb into cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1 this work done is taught as the potential g u of the dipole so u is equal to minus mb into cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1 
the potential of the energy of the dipole is zero when m perpendicular to b so the potential energy of the dipole in any orientation theta can be obtained by putting theta 1 is equal to 90 degree and theta 2 is equal to theta in the above equation theta 1 that is equal to 90 and theta 2 is equal to theta so you can write u is equal to minus mb into cos theta minus cos 90 okay cos 90 we know that is 0 so u is equal to minus mb cos theta that is equal to minus m dot b okay when theta is equal to 0 u is equal to minus mb cos 0 then that is equal to cos 0 is equal to 1 so we can write that is minus mb thus the potential of a dipole is minimum when m is parallel to b in this stage, the magnetic dipole is in stable equilibrium. Corrected by the stable equilibrium in a condition. When theta is equal to 90, u is equal to minus m cos 90, then we can say that cos 90 is equal to 0, then we will get 0. When theta is equal to 180, u is equal to minus mb cos 180, cos 180 is equal to minus 1, then minus into minus that is plus, so we can write that is mb. Okay, thus potential energy of a dipole is maximum when m is anti-parallel to b. In this condition, it is maximum. In this state, the magnetic dipole is in an unstable equilibrium. Energy is maximum, then it is in unstable condition. So, in this case, our magnetic dipole is in unstable equilibrium. Correct it, stable equilibrium, unstable equilibrium, all correct Okay. Current loop as a magnetic dipole. We know that the magnetic field produced at a large distance r from the center of a circular loop of radius a along its axis is given by b is equal to b is equal to mu zero i a square divided by two r cube b is equal to mu zero divided by 2 r cube into i a square then we should multiply both the numerator and denominator with 2 pi okay that is equal to mu zero 2 i a divided by 4 pi r cube that is capital A area is equal to pi a square ok then b is equal to mu 0 divided by 4 pi 2 i a divided by r cube i is the current and a, a is equal to pi a square that is the area then the electric field of an electric dipole at an axial point lying far away from it is given by e is equal to we know electric field at an axial point e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 2 p divided by r cube Magnetic field B is inversely proportional to R cube and E is also inversely proportional to R cube. Here also inversely proportional to R cube. So we can say that here this is the electric dipole. So I A is the magnetic moment. This is dipole moment. So it is the magnetic moment. So M is equal to M is equal to I into A m is equal to i into a okay this is the dipole moment electric dipole moment this is the magnetic moment so m is equal to i into a okay then we note that b and e have the same distance dependence 1 by r cube moreover they have the same direction at any far away Point nodes just on the axis. This suggests that the circular current loop behaves a magnetic dipole moment m is equal to i into a. So m is equal to i into a vector. 
This result is valued for a planar current loop of any shape. Thus, the magnetic dipole moment of any current loop is equal to the product of the current and its loop area. Okay. The next, uh, that important topic that is magnetic dipole moment of a revolving electron. Okay. Magnetic dipole moment of a revolving electron. According to Bohr model of hydrogen at like atoms, negatively charged electrons revolve around the positively charged nucleus. This uniform circular motion of the electron is equivalent to a current loop which possesses a magnetic dipole moment m is equal to i into a. This uniform circular motion of the electron, electron is revolving around the positively charged nucleus. This uniform circular motion of the electron is equivalent to a current loop which possesses a magnetic dipole moment m is equal to i into a. Consider an electron revolving anti-clockwise around a nucleus in an orbit of radius r with a speed v at the time period t. Okay, here the electron is revolving in anti-clockwise direction around a nucleus in an orbit of radius r with a speed v. Current is equal to I is equal to charge by time. Charge means that is E by time T. So E divided by revolving around the circular orbit. So time period is equal to distance divided by speed 2 pi R divided by V. 2 pi R that is the circumferences of the circular lobe. That is the distance here. So 2 pi R divided by V. So E V divided by 2 pi R. Area of the current loop A is equal to pi r square. Then, the orbital magnetic moment of the electron mu L is equal to I into A. That is equal to I means E V divided by 2 pi r into A. A means that is pi r square. So, mu L is equal to, we can cancel this pi and pi r and r and r, then we will get E V R divided by 2. As the negatively charged electron is revolving anti-clockwise, the associated current flows clockwise direction. Electron is moving, revolving in anti-clockwise direction, then we know the uh, associated current always opposite that of the electron, so it is flows in the clockwise direction. According to right hand thumb rule, the direction of the magnetic dipole moment of the revolving electron will be perpendicular to the plane of its orbit and is in the downward direction. Perpendicular to the plane of the paper, perpendicular to the plane of its orbits and it is in the downward direction. Okay. The angular momentum of the electron due to its orbital motion. Number 11 L is equal to M V R M E V R. M is the mass of the electron. So, angular momentum L is equal to MVR. The direction of L is normal to the plane of the electron orbit and in the upward direction. L, the direction is normal to the plane of the electron orbit and it is in the upward direction. Dividing equation 1 by 2, mu L by L is equal to EVR by 2 divided by MEVR. Then we will get E divided by 2 me. Vr and Vr cancelled. E divided by 2. E divided by 2 me. The above ratio is a constant called gyromagnetic ratio. Its value is 8.8 into 10 raised to 10 coulomb per kilogram. This ratio is called gyromagnetic ratio. A value 8.8 into 10 raised to 10 coulomb per kilogram. So mu L is equal to E mu L mu L is equal to we should multiply this mu L is equal to E divided by 2 M E into L by using vector representation vector mu L is equal to minus E divided by 2 M into 2 M E into L vector the negative sign shows that the direction of L is opposite to that of mu L according to Bohr Quantization condition, the angular momentum of an electron in any, any permissible orbit is an integral multiple of h by 2 pi, where h is Planck's constant, L is equal to ns divided by 2 pi. We have already studied in plus 1 level, where n is equal to 1, 2, 3. So, mu L is equal to n into eh divided by 4 pi m e. Mu L means that is 
minus e divided by 2me then we should write l l l means that is ns divided by 2 pi okay mu l is equal to e divided by 2 m e into l l is equal to ns divided by 2 pi then mu l is equal to e divided by 2 m e into instead of this l we should write here ns divided by 2 pi ns divided by 2 pi so mu l is equal to n into n into e s divided by 2 m e 2 into 2 means 4 pi m e okay that is mu l understood okay so mu l is equal to n into e s divided by 4 pi this equation gives the orbital magnetic moment of revolving electron in nth orbit electron revolving in nth orbit Bohr magneton it is defined as the magnetic moment associated with an electron due to its orbital motion in the first orbit of hydrogen atom it is defined as the magnetic moment associated with an electron due to its orbital motion in the first orbit of hydrogen atom it is the minimum value of mu l which can be obtained by putting n is equal to 1 then Bohr magneton is given by mu b is equal to mu l minimum is equal to e s divided by 4 pi m e n is equal to 1 that is the minimum value of mu l okay besides the orbital angular momentum l an electron has spin angular momentum s yes, due to the spinning motion the magnetic moment possessed by an electron due to its spinning motion is called intrinsic magnetic moment or a spin magnetic moment then mu s is equal to minus e by m e into s the total magnetic moment of electron is the vector sum of these two momenta that is given by mu is equal to mu l plus mu s that is equal to minus e divided by 2 m e into l plus 2 s okay mu s is equal to minus e divided by m e into s vector then mu l that is equal to minus e divided by 2 m e into l then we should add the total total mu is equal to mu s plus mu l that is equal to minus e divided by m e s plus minus e divided by 2 m e into l so we can take minus e divided by 2 m e outside then we should multiply here with 2 okay then we will get 2 e s plus l minus e divided by 2 m e into 2 s plus l okay That is the total magnetic moment of the electron. That is mu is equal to mu l plus mu s. That is minus e divided by 2 m into l plus 2 s. Okay guys study up to here. The remaining topic we will take in the next class. Okay bye.